What are these? Cigarettes. People used to light the tips on fire and inhale the smoke. Why? They contained a substance called nicotine, which caused an addictive rush. That is, until they got cancer, which at the time was often fatal. The odor is very interesting. What is it? It is called a cigarette. The aroma is most pleasing. Yes. Dr. Finn says it is the result of... What are you doing? I was curious to taste it. It is not food. Dr. Finn said the tip is to be ignited and the smoke inhaled. The sensation is wonderful. I have never experienced such a flavor. I feel as if I have been standing my entire life and I just sat down. The tingles. Do you feel them? I do. We must have more. 500 cigarettes. Oh, my God. Captain, what can I do for you? Guys, what the hell is this? Our quarters. Where's Topa? He has not yet returned from school. Okay, look, I don't know what's going on here, but we are all going to sickbay right now. For what reason? Well, you boys continue to be full of surprises. What is it? Apparently, the Mocklin biological system is extremely susceptible to nicotine addiction. Is there precedent for this? Nobody on Earth has smoked for hundreds of years, let alone Mockless. This is new territory. Are we in any danger? What happens if you don't have a cigarette for more than a half hour? I do not know. Oh, boy. Yesterday, I was stuck in the lift for 10 minutes due to a power fluctuation. I had no cigarettes with me. I began to shake. It did not stop until I smoked. Well, my analysis indicates that if you keep it up, it's only going to get worse until eventually you'll reach a point where you can't go 10 seconds without a puff. Can't you just give him an injection of some kind, get him off the habit? Normally, yes, but at the moment there is no injection. These two are patient one and patient zero. I'll have to formulate one. How long will that take? Maybe hours, maybe days. In the meantime, Topa can stay with Ty and Marcus. Very well, Doctor. You understand that you two are going to need to support each other in this, OK? No smoking. It was only one. Where is the harm? If you do not treat this in a serious manner, you will not be able to quit. Yes, I will. And stop shouting at me. I will stop shouting when I see evidence that you are as committed as I am. Oh. What is this? The hour grows late. I must be on the bridge at 08. Do not change the subject. You are berating me while you yourself are hiding cigarettes. That is not mine. You lie. Where are the others? There are no others. If you do not tell me where they are, I will sleep elsewhere tonight. There. From now on, we will watch each other. Yes, closely. Where is the Noctus sauce? You ate the last of it. I did not. I only had one spoonful. That is a lie. I watched you put it on your progress page. Boris, I must have a cigarette. No. We agreed. I do not care. The urge is too strong. 
If you attempt to approach the synthesizer, you will regret it. What is it you want, Doctor? I've just finished formulating the injection. Who wants to go first? That's nothing! Look! This is glorious! The music is very similar to a popular mating song on Mothmas. You must come dance with us! We're okay, but thanks! The rest room! It is that way! Boys, listen! We must return to the dance! The night is ours! Is this what you want? Is it true that you had an altercation with a fellow classmate? Yes. Why? She had a piece I needed. Your teacher says you took it from her, and that you pushed her. Yeah, so? That was wrong, Topa. But she's a female. That makes no difference. They're inferior. It doesn't matter what they think. Where did you hear such things? From Papa. Go to your room, Topa. We will discuss your punishment later. I didn't do anything wrong. Go! You do not make things easy. I am simply teaching our son the traditional values on which we ourselves were raised. Clyden, has your time on the ship not changed your perspective in any way? It has obviously changed yours. What harm can come from allowing him to discover his own path? Topa may decide he wants to live on Mockless one day. In that event, we must tell him the truth of his origins. What happened to you must What happened to me did not shatter my faith in our ways. Perhaps when Topa is grown, Mockless will not be so intolerant. Who are you to question our core beliefs? You are only one Mocklin. What makes the rest of our society wrong and your perverse vision right? If it were up to you, our son would still be female. I am sorry. It is not my wish to hurt you. Bridge to Commander Bordas. Yes. It is a female. Her name is Mercer. But there are no Mocklin females. Only a few are born every generation. Some people fear them. That is why her parents have chosen to conceal her. Look at her, Topa. She is not so different from you or I. Boris, I have been looking for you. Come home. It is late. I will be home soon. We have much to discuss. There is nothing more to say until the Council reaches its decision. We cannot ignore the possibility that we will be going back to Mockless. I imagine that would please you. What do you mean? You have never been comfortable aboard this ship. There are females here, and it sickens you. It does not. You did not bother to greet Commander Grayson. And you have not acknowledged her presence since you have been standing here. Listen, guys, I'd rather not get in the no. middle of... Please, stay. You rarely leave our quarters or socialize with the crew. You cling to traditions that serve no useful purpose. Your mind remains closed, and you wish to raise our child to embrace this ignorance. Bridge to Commander Grayson. Four Ever since I was a young child, I have always felt incomplete. As if the person I am today is a bookmark a placeholder until I discover who I am. I have not found the answer at home, so perhaps it is out among the stars. 
You've felt this way for some time? I once heard Dr. Finn say that if you wake up in the middle of the night and there is nothing to keep you from falling asleep again, that means you are happy. I think that maybe I am not happy. You don't sleep well. I always feel as if there is something wrong with me, but I cannot tell what. Lieutenant Malloy says many people my age feel this way. Perhaps it is normal. Have either of you spent any time talking to Toba recently? I haven't, no. No, what's up? I'm worried about him. What's the matter? I think that at some point, possibly soon, the person he is and the person he was are gonna collide with each other. Has he said something to you? In a general sense, yes. I mean, he's struggling emotionally. He's confused. He knows... He knows there's something different about him. Oh, boy. Why don't you have him drop by my office? He and I can have a talk. And it will allow me to do a casual evaluation. It might be a little early for that. He confided in me, and it's possible he could see that as a breach of trust at this point. I just... I need guidance. When he tells me this stuff, I feel like a horrible person. I feel like I'm lying to him with my silence. I mean, there are times, there are times I want to scream it out loud. You were, you were born female, you were altered without your knowledge. And then just let him decide for himself how he wants to handle it. I think it may be time to talk to Bordas. Yes? Hey, guys. Commander. Please, sit. I don't mean to interrupt your dinner. Have you seen Chopa? He is late. I have him helping Ensign Burke with the recalibration of the navigational array. Part of his exam prep. We both appreciate the time you have spent with him. It's my pleasure. Please, join us. <clears throat> have some colt. Uh, is that the... It is the green one. Right. Listen, I have to confess, I had a... I had an ulterior motive for putting Toba to work at dinner time. There's something I want to talk to you about. What is it? I understand that it's inappropriate within your culture for me to bring this up, but have you two ever discussed telling Toba about his origins? You are correct, Commander. It is entirely inappropriate. How dare you enter our home and- Biden! We have discussed the matter on several occasions, and we feel- We do not feel the time is right. And that's your decision, of course. You're his parents. But if I can offer an outsider's perspective, I think there may be some residual damage that could have had a ripple effect down through the years. This kid is unhappy. All children are unhappy. He will outgrow it. I don't want to betray his confidence if he hasn't said anything to you. But he thinks there's something wrong with him. What? He doesn't know. Look, everyone at this table is aware that we're talking about someone who was surgically altered without their knowledge or consent. Commander, you have overstayed your welcome. You may go now. Please, talk to your son. I apologize for disturbing your evening. Clyden, no! She could be correct. She is a female with no understanding of our culture. If Topa is struggling. If he is struggling, it is insignificant compared to the struggle he would face if he were to learn the truth. It occurs to me that 
in all the time we have been together. I have never once known you to be uncertain of anything. Tell me, what is it like to be so wise? You are mocking me. You invite it. Do you know how much pain I would have been spared had I not discovered that I was born female? I would never, ever force our son to endure such a life. I love him with all my heart. Do you? Of course I do! Then listen to me! Boris, I would give anything to be ignorant of my beginnings. Topa may never be happy, but unhappiness is better than despair. Please excuse me. Hello, Topa. Isaac, what is it like to be dead? It is the opposite of being alive. When you deactivated yourself, what did it feel like? I was deactivated. I felt nothing. Were you unhappy when they brought you back? I am incapable of happiness or misery. May I ask the purpose of your inquiry? I was just curious. What can I do for you? Topa came to the astrophysics lab to speak with me. He had many questions regarding my attempt to deactivate myself. What kind of questions? He wished to know what it was like to be dead. What else? He asked if I was unhappy to be revived. I see. I am aware that Union Medical Protocol recommends disclosure of this variety of information to a superior officer. It does. Thank you for telling me. Good day, Commander. Incoming message. Access file, Kimbok 33. Password, Gomoska 488. Password verified. Where have you been? I've waited for you in the simulator. Are you all right? Was I born female? Topa. Answer me. How could you possibly ask such a thing? Answer me! Of course not! Where? Where did you get that? Does it matter? Was it Commander Grayson? Tell me the truth. Was I born female? Yes. Why did you not tell me? It was for your own well-being. We wanted to protect you. Were you ever going to tell me? We did not know. 
It did not appear to serve a purpose. You have been lying to me. My entire life has been a lie. No! Topa, you were born malformed. It is true. But the doctors made you well. You are male now. That is all that I may appear to be male. What is inside me still exists. It is why I have felt the way I have for so long. My body has been screaming to me that I am someone else. I am. I am sorry, Topa. To leave you as you were would have been unthinkable. Yes, Mockless has taught me. You have taught me that to be female is an aberration of nature. I have heard the lesson clearly. Mockless is an imperfect society. What is taught? What is you can- Light and you will be silent! We love you. For everything that you are, and were. Come in. How dare you! Is there something I can do for you, Clyden? If we were on Mockless, I would be within my rights to break your little neck! Well, we're not on Mockless, but you're welcome to try. No? Then I suggest you back the hell away from my desk. My son is in emotional ruin because of you. I told him to have a slice of Kimbok. That's all I said. You gave him the password for the trial records. No, I didn't. You are a liar. I pointed him in the right direction, yes. I Who been... are you to decide what is best for my child? Somebody has to. My son was content. Your son was miserable. You wrecked that kid the second you walked into that courtroom, so do not try to pin this bullshit on me. I remember when we were in the Kandar system. You were worshipped as a god by the planet's inhabitants. Perhaps you still believe it yourself. Perhaps that is why you chose to play god with my family. I play god? Clyde, that kid has been crying out for help, and you've been burying your fat head in the sand because the truth doesn't fit in with your backward worldview. Now, I may have overstepped, but somebody needed to start paying attention because that child is in trouble. And no matter how much it hurts you to know it, underneath that manufactured exterior, Topa is still female. I'm gonna use my imagination and pretend that didn't just happen. Then I'm gonna let go, and you're gonna get the hell out of my office. If you ever try to strike an officer again, I'm gonna break your goddamn arm off and mount it on my wall. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes! <laughs> 